All right, thanks, Jessica. It's been nearly three months since the Norm Waite Senior YMCA last welcomed members and the community inside to help slow the spread of COVID-19. But Monday, the Y is unlocking its doors. Our Katie Copley got a peek inside at the changes they have made to try and keep everyone safe. Eleven weeks ago, the Y shut its doors as the coronavirus moved into Siouxland. While the facility was closed, staff at the Y stayed busy helping those impacted by COVID-19. The YMCA's mission is all about strengthening the foundations of the community, and so that's what we tried to do during this crisis. The Y partnered with other organizations and businesses to distribute food, handing out nearly a quarter of a million pounds of food to Siouxlanders in need. Now, come June 1st, the Y is preparing to open its doors to members but the facility will look a bit different. We're going based on uh, the 10 person rule in the areas um, that we're opening and making sure that we have the six feet in all directions. Following CDC recommendations, class sizes will be no more than 10 people. Equipment on the wellness floor has been spaced out and lap swimmers will need to reserve a lane in the fitness pool. Our areas are spread out. Um, so that way we have more than six feet in between each individual piece of equipment Plus, there's only a certain number of people who can be in that area at one time. Everyone will be required to wear a mask to enter and exit the building and in common areas. They are optional on the exercise floor. Those entering the building will have their temperature checked and there will be an increase in sanitization throughout the facility. We have staff, we have our members cleaning, and then we are shutting down in the middle of the day, completely shutting our doors, deep cleaning, and then reopening them back up for vulnerable populations for that first hour after we re back, reopen back up in the afternoon and then back open to the, the general membership. As the Y prepares to welcome back its members. So we just want you to know we're doing the best that we possibly can in order to make sure that this YMCA is as safe as it possibly can be. The YMCA is here to build up our community, to strengthen it during this time of crisis, and we just want to be that community um, center um, that helps to strengthen the foundations of our community. In South Sioux City, Nebraska, Katie Koppel, Siouxland News. Monday's reopening is phase one of a multi-phase reopening the Y has created. They're also offering summer care for kids and swimming lessons. You can find more on those phases and what members can expect in this story on our website at SiouxlandNews.com.